After years of defending her character's controversial history, General Hospital actress Jeannie Francis finally spoke out against the inappropriate 1979 storyline that spawned soap history's most iconic couple, Luke and Laura. Jeannie Francis, who portrayed the role of Laura Spencer since 1977, opened up about the date our asterisk P scene from 1979. General Hospital shocked fans after the show's character Luke Anthony Geary, our asterisk ped Laura before the two fell in love and eventually married in 1981. In the ensuing years, fans have questioned the troubling plot where Laura falls in love with her abuser, but the characters Jeannie Francis and Anthony Geary always defended the forced seduction story arc. However, in 2023, during ABC's Television Critics Association presentation, Jeannie Francis spoke out against her character's controversial history. Francis noted that she was 17 years old when she filmed the scene, and as a young actress, she did what the show's brass told her. Francis noted, at 17, you follow the rules, do as you are told, and aim to please. At 60, I don't feel the need to defend that anymore. Francis continued, she would not justify the story anymore, saying, I think that the story was inappropriate, I don't condone it, and it's been a burden that I've had to carry to try to justify that story, and so I'm not doing that anymore. Francis added, when a woman says no, she should be listened to, and if you replay that scene, you don't have Laura just saying no. You have her screaming no. In 2020, Abigail de Kosnick, the author of The Survival of Soap Opera, revealed that the R asterisk P storyline was a last-ditch effort by producers to save General Hospital from cancellation. General Hospital spoilers suggest that fans should brace themselves for the impossible to become possible. No one ever thought that Heather Weber would escape her maximum security stint in prison unless she were to break out herself. However, after Scotty Baldwin Ken Schreiner visited her last week, it looks as if freedom could be on the horizon for Heather. She initially wasn't interested in using cobalt poisoning to spring out of jail, but thanks to the slimy attorney's visit, he may have changed her mind. Actress Ali Mills recently caught up with Soap Opera Digest S.O.D. to talk about Heather's new storyline and the respect she has for fellow General Hospital colleagues. Saad asked Mills about working with Ken Schreiner, Rebecca Herbst Elizabeth Weber, and Jeannie Francis Laura Collins. When it came to Schreiner, S.O.D. asked about working with him, considering he's the king of improvisation. Ms. Mill noted that he's a riot and stated that when she had earlier scenes with him when Heather was in minimum security, painting, she never knew what would happen, adding it was like free for all. Ali noted that she loves that kind of work just going with whatever happens. Mills also stated during her SOD interview that she adores Herbst and that she's such a sweet human being, an amazing person, and a caregiver. She adds that Rebecca is one of those people that really does things for other people, amazing things, and doesn't talk about it. She is that person. She really is like her character in that way. Mills talked about working with soap legend Jeannie Francis. She stated that despite being older than her, she felt a girlfriend chemistry with the general hospital icon, even though their characters were never exactly the best of friends then in their teen year. Allie goes on to say that Frances is quite generous and has an old-school approach to her work, where Jeannie studies, knows her lines, and thinks about them. Mills added she likes Frances's work ethic a lot, and it's fun working with her. General Hospital spoilers for next week's episodes of the hit ABC soap tease that things will be turned upside down in Port Charles. Several storylines unfold simultaneously, including the debacle between Sonny Maurice Bernard and Jagger Kate's Adam J. Harrington. Recently, Emmy Ryland confirmed that Lulu was being recast, and viewers may see her on screen sooner rather than later. Meanwhile, when Christina Kate Monsi finds herself in the crosshairs of Agent Kate's, Alexis Nancy Legron will have to spring into action. Ava Mora West has been in quite a pickle regarding Sunny and Agent Kate's. 
Friday's episode revealed a call about Lulu and Laura Jeannie Francis looking panicked. General Hospital spoilers tease that she and Dante Dominic Zampragna will get frightening news about her next week. It's been years since she's been in a coma, and like her mother, she is a warrior. Lulu is expected to wake up in the coming weeks, adding more complications to the relationships that have formed in her absence. Lucky Jonathan Jackson will also return to Port Charles in the coming days. He's been off-screen for years, only returning to see Anthony Garioff as he retired from the role of Luke Spencer. It's evident that things between Molly Kristen Vaganos and Christina are strained. TJ's Taj Bello talk with Ava has given him a different viewpoint, and when Agent Cates arrests Christina, Molly's mind might be swayed too. Alexis has been navigating the situation carefully, but needs to think fast next week. We also know Rick Rickhurst is returning to town, so he may be the one she calls for help. Jason Steve Burton learned the truth about who began messing with Sonny's meds, and it wasn't Ava. When he tells Anna Finola Hughes about Valentine James Patrick Stewart, it's clear the two are no longer in a partnership. Sasha Sophia Matson and Cody Josh Kelly are ready to take the next step, but two unexpected guests may interrupt them. Tracy Jane Elliott and Violet Jaffiel Love may get more than they bargained for when looking for Cody. Trina Tabiana Ali and Joss Eden McCoy work through their difference in opinions and spend some much-needed time together.